Hey, Matt Bentley Walls here for another vlog. I hope you're all doing well. Workshops. <laughs> and what of them? More particularly, a Matt Stewart workshop that I did. It's the only workshop I've ever done in my life on anything, any subject, period. Um, possibly the only one I'll ever do, not because it was a bad experience far from it it was brilliant um but hey you know just that's kind of the way i am but here are some questions are they you know are they ripping you off are they whatever look for me i'd stumbled upon matt stewart as a photographer he's a i think he's a nominee at magnum and I kind of saw his work and I thought, well, that's okay. That's a bit different. That's, you know, street photography with a twist. A bit of humour injection, I found. Um, and it just put a smile on my face. And I thought, you know, do you know what? I'm all for, you know, I'm talking about keeping an open mind or even stretching yourself, stretching your mind, stretching. And I, all of a sudden, I thought, you know, I saw he did workshops. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do it. It was a very sort of, you know, I've never thought that about, as I say, I've never done a workshop before, but I just had this thing. I, I thought I'm going to do it. It's in London and it'd be in, you know, I can see how he takes his photographs and what the similarities are. And he likes to use color and key in reds and always exposing for the highlights and deep, dark shadows. Um, and, and linking things, you know, as a linker, and then injecting a bit of humour. So, you know, I could see what was happening. I didn't need to do a workshop to understand that. But I thought, okay, that's an objective view or understanding of his of what I'm seeing, of what his images say to me. But actually doing it and being under pressure to do that and get those kind of images... It's another thing completely. And I thought, hey, you know, just go and see and do and learn and understand. And not with a view to me wanting to change the way I photograph. I'm completely, completely at ease and happy to take the, my, my photographs the way I do it. I've kind of worked really hard to, to understand something about myself, the way I view the world, the way I am understand and process the world and technique and printing you know I've you know I've paid my dues without any shadow of a doubt don't want to don't want to necessarily change but understanding and having another dimension I think is really really key and interesting and worthwhile um, and so off I set meet at a cafe have a coffee quick coffee limber up uh, do a few exercises. He likes to do that before he goes out. And here's the thing: head into London. We're, we're all, we were already in London, but go, you know, go to the Heart, Oxford Street, and what have you. Um, and here are your settings. It was a nice sunny day. Um, Thirty-five mil lens or a fifty mil lens, I think, was the precondition. And your settings are, I think, it, I think it was three fiftieth of a second at f eleven. So most things are going to be in focus. Most things are going to be frozen at three fifty, something like that. And keep the sun on the back of your neck. That's that, those, that's what he told us. There's a party of about ten of us. I think I was the only English guy. Um, there were some Germans. Um, a German woman, anyway, uh, yeah, you know, uh, a couple of one or two Portuguese, I think. Anyway, that was that was the thing. Um, don't shoot anybody homeless or anything like that. Don't sort of, you know, that's not what this is about. It's not. We're not showing off to him what we can do. This is an exercise in 350th of a second, F11, 
sun on sun your back see what you can get but as the day went on he then said okay i'm going to position you all intermittently along oxford street one place can't move you're rooted to that spot one person 50 meters on another person 50 meters on another person and he'll kind of come and see you you know every every half hour or whatever and we were there for about i don't know if my memory serves the, this was by the way 2019 i believe mark was it march something like that um and i suddenly began to feel freaked out <laughs> Hang on a minute i'm rooted to the spot i can't move and i literally have the world and his wife coming at me from every direction thousands upon thousands of people just rushing by me this way that way and every way from behind and just the volume of people the volume of people that's not how I shoot. I don't ever stop and root myself. You know, I, I maybe linger for a while and see what happens in a certain place because background is quite nice and maybe if somebody walks through, you know. But generally speaking, I'm, I'm moving. I'm not going at a great pace necessarily. I might do if I see something. But I'm generally kind of gravitating you know i'm like the dog sniffing for somewhere <laughs> you know to have a pee or something I, I don't know i'm i'm kind of seeing and i'm gravitating towards that's generally how i how i am on the street that's that's you know where, where where's you know what's happening i it's uh, i i love it i love it stopping for two hours in one place with a million people coming at me from every direction that's not me that is not me for one second and I do believe when Matt came up to say how are you getting on I was like hey, I, uh, you know <laughs> I'm drowning fast I'm drowning fast but here's the thing here's the thing from that initial feeling of being way out of my depth way out of my depth after about an hour i think after he'd gone i kind of thought to myself do you know what it's a workshop for god's sake just chill go with it and see what you can get you know if you don't get anything hey really is it such a you know is it such a disaster you know and so what i began to do I don't know whether consciously or subconsciously I began to just try and make shapes out of the the craziness of the scene and it put me in a place where where I I just could not or not, not I could not I had to I had to Tr you know full frame i had to try and create a geometry and out of a rectangle with all this stuff going on and i think i shot about 300 images there thereabouts um you know could have been more could have been less um but i relaxed that was the thing from from initially feeling like, you know, this is a non-starter, this isn't going to happen, to to relaxing. You become more in tune with what is going on. You, you know, things start to slow down a little bit, if that makes sense. You're not sort of getting, you know, you're not like a, a rabbit in the headlights. You're, you're seeing it's, you know, you, you're more acutely aware. And although that was a very you know foreign thing for me a very 
weird things. I would never in a million years try and take a photograph in that kind of situation. I'm used to crowds, that's fine. But I'm moving with it and I'm gravitating towards something rather than, you know, it, you know, it, me fixed, everything just being crazy, crazy busy. Ah, I began to relax. And so later on that evening, you have to edit and choose a few images to show the next day, um, the Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon or whatever it was. Um, and I found some. And I kind of thought, well, it hasn't been a disaster. It hasn't been a disaster. I've got a few that make me seem as though I'm, you know, slightly competent. You know? I didn't sink, in other words. I, you know, they're still way too busy for me. You know, these are some of the images. Um, these are four, you know, it's about four or five. And for me, I still look at them and go, hey, that's not, that's not me. That's not my way of shooting at all. But do you know what? I sat down at the crit. Matt went, whoa. Okay. What does anybody think of this? And there was a ghostly silence. And then one German woman at the back said, yeah, effing amazing. Or something like this. And I thought she was kidding. You know, I thought she was... But I, I, I still can't find them particularly great images. You know, I, I think they're, they're not great images by any stretch of the imagination. But I, I look at them and they don't feel like I've taken them because that's not how I would shoot a scene like that. Uh, well, it, it is exactly how I'd shoot a, a scene like that given those set of circumstances. But I would never do that normally. So they, they still look very alien to me, very not me. But I recognise, actually, because I was able to relax, I was able to get something. You know, the woman in the in the trench coat with her hand underneath, you know, is... But does the person in the middle looking straight... I don't normally like that, but does it... Is it a deal breaker? I don't know. But I love the two profile people, you know, coming into... Coming in into the scene on the left. That... I don't know why, I'm not sure why. I got something. It wasn't terrible. Um, you know, equally the guy with his fingers down his throat, or, you know, seemingly, you know, does it, is it my kind of thing? You know, I can see something in it. It's It, it works on some level. Um, I'm not going to write home about it, but it the, the situation didn't defeat me. It was a really good way of stretching myself of, you know, I'm never going to be, I'm never going to be phased by a scene like that again. I know that in that, given that situation, I can, I can swim, I can cope, it's okay. And it was just a fascinating way to, to stretch yourself, to stretch myself, to put myself in a different you know, in a different situation and understand what is required in that crazy, crazy, frenetic, um, you know, the madding crowd, the crazy, <laughs> craziness of Oxford Street on a Saturday afternoon. Um, will I rush back there again anytime soon? Probably not. But... You know, I'll definitely be in London again. You know, it's one of my favourite places to shoot. It's one of the most amazing places in the world to shoot street photography, without any shadow of a doubt. I don't live in London, so... But that's kind of why I'm flagging this up. You know, stretch yourself. If you're starting out, stretch yourself. Put yourself in situations, self-imposed or not, workshops or not. Just, Just... you know, go with what you go with, do your thing, do it the way you would do it, not how Cartier Bresson would do it, or I would do it, or anybody else would do it. But feel that sense of, okay, I've got to try and cope with this. Don't be afraid of failing. It doesn't matter if you fail. Who cares? It's just a photograph. It's just a, it's just a, you know, it's just an image, just a little bit of film, just a, you know, couple of zeros and dots on a sensor 
um, on, on a file. You know, it doesn't matter, but it's good to stretch yourself. It's good to, and I came out of that, you know, absolutely exhausted because we'd walked God knows how many miles. You know, I was, I was shattered. Um, I don't think I slept that night. I didn't sleep that night. Um, I was sort of editing. I was trying to salvage something from those 300 images. And uh, anyway, um, really, really worthwhile thing. Um, so, you know, thank you very much, Matt Stewart. Brilliant. Um, and by the way, you know, he is a lovely, lovely guy. He, he just was like a breath of fresh air, upbeat, approachable, lovely. Um, so that was a, another fantastic thing. And yeah, as I say, the exercise itself, the stretching, opening the mind, you know, really, really worthwhile. Has it changed me fundamentally? No, but I would, well, I wouldn't do it again because I've already done it, but I would, you know, highly recommend it. And no, I'm not on a, <laughs> not, you know, I'm not on commission from Matt Stewart. So don't think that for a second, um, you know, everyone, I don't know, go with, go with what you go with and who you aspire to or who's a mentor to you or do it, don't do it, doesn't matter. But, but don't be afraid to put yourself in scary situations or difficult situations. Um, the very worst that can happen is that you can learn something. It's always a good thing. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much for stopping by. Cheers for now. See you for the next one.